Welcome to the roof of my revel. In the comment section of one of my recent videos, I was asked if the cables that connect to the solar panels are just dangling around and kind of damage the roof. And my answer was yes, they are, or at least they were, because I attached them with these self-adhesive cable tie pads. And I also said it is not a very lasting solution because those solar panels get so hot that the adhesive over time just gives up and then it's back to square one. And when I checked this morning, indeed, they were loose again. And of course, I can use new self-adhesive pads. They aren't that expensive and stick it on again. But I think this time I want to come up with something more lasting. And for that, I have to take off the solar panels. And I think if I just remove those four nuts from those bolts, one on each corner, then I can just take the, the panel off. Oh, I also need to disconnect, obviously, the cable. I have no idea how heavy this thing is. Not too bad. I cleaned the roof and I brought the light. And I guess you can see the spot here now where the paint is completely worn away. This is where this plug was hitting the roof over and over again. I'm not sure if it goes down to bare metal or only to the primer, but it is for sure something I need to touch up before reinstalling the solar panel. Here's the solar panel flipped upside down. Let me zoom in a little bit. The cable has an inline fuse here in this holder and then this massive connector and really it has some weight to it. I can totally see how this will damage the roof when it constantly bounces against it. And really Winnebago if you're listening, why do you think it's a good idea to have this fuse holder under the solar panel where it can only be accessed by taking the solar panels off? There's plenty of slack in the cable, so you could have moved that fuse holder to outside of the solar panel where it would have been easily accessible without messing with the panels at all. Anyway, to fix this cable situation, I'm going to mount this aluminum profile across the solar panel, of course, on the underside. So I have something solid that I can attach the cable to and keep it from hitting the roof. It's a few days later, the weather is much better, so I can finish the installation now outside. I painted the bar red and I drilled a couple of holes into the sides so I can loop in some wire ties and then really secure the cable. I'll show you in a second. First, let me take the second solar panel off. It is so much nicer doing this outside and working with two ladders. This one over there is a much taller one that doesn't fit in the garage. So I think I lift it off a little bit and see what the cable situation is on this side. I think I have to unplug it from somewhere. Wow, there's a lot of rust over there. And here's one of these self-adhesive pads that I used before and that are now failing. The rust over here is not from the bar itself. It is made from aluminum. Here's a little magnet and it doesn't stick. It does over here, obviously on the metal roof. It is coming from the bracket itself, which is not made from aluminum and is rubbing against the cross bar of the roof rack. 
To attach the bar to the underside of the solar panel, I'm using these, I don't know what they're called, these T-shaped bolts. They just drop in here and then they rotate a little bit and wedge themselves in. And then I put a nylon washer on and then this one and I can bolt it down. And I'm putting the bar relatively close to the connection box so I can catch the cable here, secure it here and then over here secure it again against the bar of the roof rack. Before I tie it all down, I'll wrap the cable a little bit in this abrasion resistant fabric tape so it doesn't really get damaged if it should rub across the bar here. And I really want to eventually replace this cable. Use one that only has one connector instead of those two and one that has this fuse holder outside of the solar panel so it can easily be serviced. But I don't have time for that right now. We are going on a trip tomorrow and I couldn't get all the necessary parts in in time. So it has to wait and it will be a future video, I guess. And here's the roof damage under the back panel. I guess the darker spot is bare metal and then those two lighter ones is where only the paint layer was worn away and it goes down to the primer. And I guess the good news is because it kept bouncing and kept grinding away there's no rust. So I'll quickly touch this up before installing the panel back on. I let it dry for a bit and then add a second coat. I'm not too worried about how it looks. I mean, it's on the roof and under the solar panel. I'm more worried about rust and this will for sure stop it. I washed both panels. They are nice and clean now and I'm ready to pop them back on. I'll start with the one in the back. I don't know how good you can see this on camera. Here's the bar and now, and this is the fuse holder there in the middle and nothing is touching the roof anymore. Now for the one in the front and I'm done. To plug it back in, I need a little more slack from this cable bundle here. So I'm not sure if you can see this. This is now the bar under the front panel. It keeps the fuse holder and this big plug nicely off the roof. So let's check that the solar panels are still working. It's a little overcast, so about 5 amps is what I would expect. And really, I didn't change anything on the panels itself. I just took them off, made them a little better and put them back on again. All in all, it was a super easy project and it didn't cost a lot. I think I spent about like $10 on this aluminum profile and I didn't even have to buy it. I still had that left over from a previous project. Also, all those nuts and bolts were left over from previous projects. So that's it. That's all I had for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.